Intense public debate about the nuclear standoff with Iran is taking place every day here in Israel, and everyone seems to be weighing in on the discussion, from former intelligence and military officials to those currently working under Prime Minister Netanyahu. One thing has become clear. Most of the people speaking on and off the record are coming out against a unilateral Israeli military strike. It seems that Netanyahu and his defense minister, Ehud Barak, face stiff opposition. One of their critics is Professor Uzi Evan, a very prominent nuclear scientist. He worked for a number of years at Israel's alleged nuclear facility at Dimona. He's offering a new and what some say is a radical solution to the standoff. Shut down Dimona in exchange for the closure of Qom, Iran's suspected nuclear facility. That's the quid pro quo Professor Evan is proposing. Sooner or later, the nuclear reactor center in Dimona will have to shut down. It's already one of the oldest in the world. Since it's about to happen anyway, I don't see any loss if we start negotiating now, letting us shut down the activity in Dimona, <coughs> putting it under international supervision. And this will allow the Iranian to declare a very large victory on their side. And maybe they will agree to the international pressure on them to close down their enrichment facilities. The Israeli government maintains a policy of nuclear ambiguity, neither admitting nor denying it has atomic weapons. But according to foreign reports, it's widely believed Dimona houses Israel's stockpile of an estimated 200 nuclear warheads. Israel is not a signatory to the International Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty. Israel's alleged nuclear capability serves as a powerful deterrent to regional enemies. Professor Evans says closing Demona wouldn't change that. Plutonium, once it has been produced, can last for 24,000 years before that's its half-life. So whatever plutonium people believe we have accumulated in Demona over 40 years, it's already there. And if we can make nuclear devices with that plutonium, they will be here for a very long time to come. So I do not believe it will reduce our deterrence. There are no indications that Israeli leaders would ever consider Professor Evans' proposal, given what the West believes is Iran's penchant for running secret underground nuclear facilities. It seems Professor Evans' plan requires a level of trust few would have in Iran's leaders. But the nuclear scientist's radical and perhaps naive idea shows just how strong public opposition is to a unilateral Israeli military strike on Iran. The latest polls still show about 60 percent of Israelis are against the idea. We have to remember that Iran is about 10 times bigger than Israel and can sustain 10 times the losses that Israel does and can sustain a much longer war effort than we ever did, like in the Iran-Iraq war, which lasted eight years. I cannot predict how long this conflict will last once we started it. Professor Evan believes an Israeli strike will not reach its objectives, given that Iran's nuclear program is dispersed over at least five main locations, and some are deep underground. He advocates only joining a U.S.-led operation the same yeah, position recently not, uh, voiced by Iran Israel's is president, Shimon Peres. But how effective an Israeli attack may be is also fiercely debated. The former head of the Israeli Mossad, Danny Otom, who prefers a joint operation with the U.S., says Israel can still do the job alone. If Israel will attack, it will be effective. Professor Evan, who is also a former Knesset member in the left-wing Meretz party, believes a nuclear Iran is something Israel can live with, but many disagree with that. I think that uh, a nuclear Iran uh, is a threat to the very existence of the state of Israel. Therefore, Iran should not be nuclear. This is not only my position. This is the position of the majority of the experts in Israel and elsewhere. How to stop Iran's suspected nuclear program remains Israel and the world's challenge. Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.